In this demo, we're working with an elevated slab and RAM concept that we've read in from Revit. It's a floor from the Revit Advanced Sample Model that is a beam and slab system with some joists as well. We're going to remove the beams and reduce the slab thickness to see if we can provide a more economical design. We're not going to focus too much on the design details, but rather on, on how the process unfolds. I've reduced the slab thickness to 250 millimeters, as you saw. Now we'll select and delete all of the beams on the floor. We'll go ahead and mesh the structure to make sure there are no problems with the model. And now we'll move on to laying out design spans. For simplicity, we'll only design the north-south spans. We can generate the spans with just a few clicks. And then after they're in place, we can revise any of them however we'd like. Once we've set the design properties of each span, we move on to generating the strips. This is an RC slab, so we're not laying out any PT. So at this point, we're pretty much ready to run the design. It is worth noting that since we created this file from a Revit model, all the geometry came over from Revit and also the applied floor loads. And you can see the live loads here on screen that were brought over from Revit. So there's very little we need to do in the way of modeling within RAM Concept itself. Now we'll go ahead and run a calc all, which will launch the analysis and design of the floor. And we'll go through the process once it's done of reviewing the, des the design results. We'll defer on the details of this for a different demo as we're primarily focused on the workflow as a whole in this demonstration. In order to include the reinforcing in the ISM workflow, we need to set it to user defined since program reinforcing is not included when exporting a RAM concept model to ISM. Like I mentioned earlier, this model was read in from an ISM repository, so instead of creating a new one, we'll just update the link repository with the changes we've made to this model. And this is done using the update repository command. Our next step will be to commit these changes to the ISM repository using the structural synchronizer interface, which we'll do in the next video.